What's up? What's your name? Uh, Raz. Raz. Okay, yeah. nice meeting you, Raz. Nice to meet you. Okay, so Raz, today I'm asking people one question. If given an opportunity where God is standing in front of you, what one question would you want to ask him? Uh, I would ask him what my future looks like and what I'm going to become. What your future looks like and what you're going to become. Okay, how old are you, Raz? I'm 17. You're 17? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I ask you one more question? Yeah. Have you ever read the Bible? Uh, no. No. I've read a few pages, but a few pages. Whole book. All right. Okay. So let me start by saying this. You see, if you have a girlfriend and she writes you a message, right. I'm sure you'd want to read the whole message because it's your girlfriend. You'd be like, man, this girl. Yeah, of course. It's important. It's very important, isn't yeah. it? If you read just half of the page, maybe she puts something very important at the end of the letter where she's saying, Ras, make sure that you come tonight and you have prepared something nice. Then you don't show up. I'm sure when you meet her, she'll be like, hey, I'm so angry with you. And you'll be like, why? She says, I wrote you a message and you say, oh, I read your message, but I didn't finish it. I just thought, ah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm sure she'll be very cross with of you. Course. Okay. Same thing with God. He wrote us a Bible yeah. and the Bible is like a wheel. So is this your dad? Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's like your father, this whole of Catherine, this whole estate belongs to him. Right. And the lawyers come when he has passed on. I pray that he lives long. Yeah. But when the lawyers come, they say, hey, this is the will of your father. Right. And you hold this envelope and you are looking for a job. You go to McDonald's. Do you have any vacancies? And they employ you and they're paying you maybe six pounds an hour. Right. Yet this whole thing belongs to you. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is until you open the wheel to check what's inside and you begin to know that every building belongs to my father, you'll be like, Hurray! Yeah. you'll be so happy. Yeah, so God has also done a manual. So this manual is a manual for life. Yeah. So don't be like many people who get a mobile phone. As soon as they put the SIM card, they never read the manual because they can just now begin to what? To make some phone calls. Yeah. If you read the manual, it might tell you that you can also text a message. You can transfer money. It's a, you can also do your check-in at the airport. Yeah. You can do many things because you've read the manual. Yeah. So reading the manual gives you the advantage. So let me also say, young man, get a Bible. God is saying, this is your will for your life. All the promises are in there. Now, I'll read one verse with you. I know you've never read it. From the book of Jeremiah. Can you read verse number 11? We'll read just three verses. You want me to read it? Can you read? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. So, God is saying, for I know the thoughts I think towards you. Uh -huh. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil. And not of evil. To give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. Uh -huh. Then shall you call upon me. Then shall you call upon me. And you shall go and pray unto me. And you shall go and pray to me. And I will hearken unto you. And I will listen to you. Last verse. And you shall seek me. And you shall seek me. And find and me. And find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. When you shall search for me with your, all, all your heart. So I believe God is speaking to you this morning. Yeah. He's like, man, I've got many plans for you. Yeah. I designed you unique in your own way, different from any other person. There are things you can do, things I cannot do. But God is saying for a time, I've put you on earth and I want you to fulfill your assignment. Yeah. So the greatest thing you can ever do on, on earth is to know what God designed for you, what he has put in you. And when you, be, when you fulfill that, there's so my joy. Mm. Any other questions? No. Yeah, are you happy with the reply? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you so much. Nice talking to you, yeah? Yeah. I pray that you get a Bible. Hey, do you go to church? Uh, no, I don't. But when are you going to start going? Though. You are religious? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know you are going some, you are, you are in a rush. I'll just take maybe two more minutes because yeah. this is more, more, even more important. All right, yeah. If you die today, where are you going? Heaven. Heaven? Yeah. Okay. I also want to go to heaven. Right. What must I do that you have done so that I can also go to heaven? What have I done? Yeah. What qualifies you? Good things in the world. Good things. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Now, the Bible says all of us, we've done something wrong. Right. If I ask you, have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? Of course. Now, if you stand before God, who is a just God, okay. innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. So, you, one minute you see you're in heaven, the next minute you are lost. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you ask God for, to forgive you, to repent, you say, Lord, I messed up, you repent. 
and then you start living in love. If you do that and you find a good church, follow Jesus and you make it. Yeah. 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 Nice talking to you, man. Thank you. Man. Yeah. yeah. Bless you. What you need Hey, you got a nice talking to you, man. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I, I pray you find a good church. Is it okay if I pray for you? Sure. Before you go, yeah? yeah? So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, he too is your son. Lord, you want to understand. When he starts reading his Bible, may the spirit of wisdom rest upon him. May he understand spiritual things. May he fulfill your assignment. May you bless him. Everything he touches, may you turn it to gold. May you connect him with the right people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Use him for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Man. Thank you, man. <laughs> nice talking to you. And thank you so much, man, for having me. Bless you. Yeah. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give. It's time to rise up and be counted. It's time to destroy the works of the devil. Time to transform the nations. There is a cry, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Let's all say, send us Lord, send us Lord, send us.